The Vanguard class is a class of nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines in service with the Royal Navy. The class was introduced in 1994 as part of the Trident nuclear program and comprises four vessels including the Vanguard S-28, which was laid down on September 3, 1986, launched on March 4, 1992, and commissioned in 1993. The Victorious, S-29, which was laid down on December 3, 1987, launched on September 29, 1993, and commissioned in 1995. The Vigilant, S-30, which was laid down on February 16, 1991, launched on October 14, 1995, and commissioned in 1996. The Vengeance, S-31, which was laid down on February 1, 1993, launched on September 19, 1998, and commissioned in 1999. For the information, all these four submarines are currently still in active service. They were built between 1986 and 1999 at Barrow and Furnace by Vickers Shipbuilding and Engineering, which is now owned by Bay Systems. All four boats are based at HM Naval Base Clyde, that is, 40 kilometers west of Glasgow, Scotland. Moreover, the Royal Navy's Vanguard class nuclear-powered submarines currently serves as the UK's strategic nuclear deterrent force. They are the largest submarines ever constructed in the UK and are also the third largest type of vessel in the Royal Navy. The Vanguard class subs were originally intended for a service life of 25 years and will be replaced as the new Dreadnought class of ballistic missile submarines that is set to enter service beginning in 2024. Each submarine is powered by a Rolls-Royce Power II nuclear reactor with two GEC turbines and has a single shaft and a single pump jet propulsor and two WH Allen turbo generators. Let's take a look at some characteristics of this sub. The Vanguard class submarines are equipped with 16 ballistic missile tubes. However, as of 2010 Strategic Defense and Security Review, the Royal Navy loads only eight of the missile tubes with the Trident II submarine launched ballistic missiles, each armed with up to eight nuclear warheads. In addition to the missile tubes, the submarines are equipped with four torpedo tubes and carry Spearfish heavyweight torpedo, allowing them to engage submerged or surface targets at ranges up to 65 kilometers. Two SSE Mark 10 launchers are also fitted, allowing the boats to deploy Type 2066 and Type 2071 decoys, and a UAP Mark III Electronic Support Measures ESM, intercept system. Regarding the propulsion, New pressurized water reactor, the Rolls-Royce Power II, was designed for the Vanguard class. The Power II has double the service life of previous models, and it is estimated that the Vanguard class submarine could circumnavigate the world 40 times without refueling. Furthermore, during the long overhaul refit periods, a Core H reactor is fitted to each of the boats, ensuring that none of the submarines will be required to further refuel for the rest of their service lives. Why is this sub considered the largest in the Royal Navy? The Vanguard class submarines are the largest submarines ever built in the United Kingdom. Measuring about 150 meters in length and weighing more than 16,000 tons, the submarines have twice the displacement of the Resolution class Polaris submarines. Because of the size of the boats, a special production facility was established to handle the Vanguard and her sister submarines construction. Even though the sub's size was enlarged to accommodate the Trident D-5 missile, yet the complement of the class is small at just 132 officers and sailors, compared to the Polaris boats, which had a crew of 149. The 16-tube missile compartment on the new Trident submarines is based on the 24-tube system utilized in the United States Navy's Ohio-class Trident submarines. The United States is in charge of missile maintenance, while the UK Atomic Weapons Establishment at Aldermaston was in charge of all design, manufacturing, installation, as well as warhead maintenance. What are some of the advancements of this submarine? The Vanguard class was also designed with several significant enhancements, including a new design of the nuclear propulsion system, as well as a new tactical weapon system or self-defense purposes, both before and after missile launch. The submarines are equipped with one to three warheads depending on the mission under normal conditions. However, each Vanguard class submarine can carry 192 warheads. In September of 2009, British Prime Minister Gordon Brown told the United Nations General Assembly that the country was willing to reduce its Vanguard class submarine force by one, 
Brown indicated that the offer was made to persuade other nuclear-powered countries to work towards a world free of nuclear weapons. However, such a scheme was carried out. Besides serving as a nuclear deterrent, the Vanguard-class boats are also fitted with 21-inch torpedo tubes and able to carry up to 16 Spearfish heavyweight torpedoes that can be directed by copper wire or autonomous active or pass sonar. When operating at a full speed, the Spearfish can hit a target up to 14 miles away at a range of more than 30 miles at low speed. The torpedoes may carry a 660-pound explosive charge, providing the sub with both anti-submarine ASW and anti-surface warfare ASUW capabilities. The subs are also equipped with world-beating sonar, which is sensitive to hear vessels from more than 50 miles away. This will help ensure that the Vanguard class live up to its nickname and continues to lead the advancing naval force. If you find this video interesting, don't forget to share, like, comment, and the most important one, to click the subscribe button for more updates on awesome videos. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.